Timsa TS45 left side dash orientation. This is your ignition start and off. Start button for when this is engaged and the aisle lights engaged. Central locking that's for your baggage bays. When you pull up to your destination engage this and your baggage bays will all unlock so you don't have to use the key. This is your blind left side up and down right side up and down steering control lock this controls your steering wheel function tilt and telescopic traction control disable if you're in a position with snow or ice engage this to disengage traction control side lights this is for your loading lights on the outside of your baggage bay doors when the entrance door is open, these lights engage. Turn on blinkers, these lights will engage. Disable them so you don't see them. Kneeling. I'll do a separate video on kneeling, but this is to raise and lower the vehicle. Lift equipped. If your vehicle has a wheelchair lift, you must engage this in order for the wheelchair lift to engage. Cruise control. Engage your cruise control when you're driving down the road. This sets your speed increases speed, decreases speed. Just a note, below that is the engine brake. If the engine brake is engaged, the cruise control is disengaged at all times, even when you have it on. So just remember, if you're driving down the road and it's not setting, look down here and it's probably engaged on the engine brake. Tag axle load, unload. If you need to make lots of turns, engage this to take the tag axle off the ground so you don't wear the tire. Additionally, if you need additional weight on the drive axle because of ice or snow, disengage or engage this. That'll put more weight in the back. Back to engine brake. This is simply an engine brake. You have three positions, low, medium, and high. Depending on the type of driving you're, you're doing, whether it's in the city or on the highway, address this and adjust this as necessary air horn. Dimmer is for your dash just like your car. You can increase brightness, lower brightness. Fog lights use as necessary. Your driver lights, DRL lights, will come on once the vehicle started. This will put your clearance lights and your uh, low beams engaged depending on the position you're in. The emergency engine stop. Once you shut the vehicle off, it goes through a lot of checks. This is basically for maintenance. Uh, they, when they're doing work on the vehicle, they can hit this and it'll get rid of all those maintenance checks and shut the vehicle battery power off immediately uh, to all the dash function. ICC brake, parking brake. Push to release air pressure and then engage the vehicle through the control. 12 volt um, for your accessories that you have. Mirror control. Left mirror, right mirror. Center is no mirror. Mirror heat. Engage that if it's equipped and mirrors will heat up in cold climate. To adjust the mirror, select the mirror that you want to adjust and these four positions will adjust it. Left out, right in, up, and down. Emergency air release. This button's to the left of the driver's seat. If you find yourself stopped because of some malfunction or loss of air pressure, push that button in and hold it in, put the vehicle in gear, and it'll give you enough air and reserve to move this vehicle and get it off the road. The fire extinguisher is located to the left of the driver. Left side stock, this button is for the horn, same as the other button that's on the dash here. It's right here, we'll push in and out the outside of the stock. That's for your washers on your windshields. Then you go into wiper. This is intermittent position. Low, high, 
high. Pull back on the stock once, turns your brights on. Pull back on the stock again, turns your brights off. And, of course, left blinker, right blinker. Temps to TS45 right side, dash orientation. Lane departure warning, enable, disable. When you turn that on, you'll see it light up red. It'll disable itself for a few minutes, but it'll go back into default and re-enable itself. It's only allowing you to disable if you're in a uh, heavy construction zone, etc. Hazard lights. Front door. Open. And again, re-hit it again, and it'll allow it to close. Tire pressure monitoring system. If there's any issue, it'll be notated on the dash. Otherwise, it says TPMS ready. Aisle light. This switch has to be engaged at all times to start the vehicle. Driver light. This will light up the light directly above the driver. Interior lights is a two position switch. That'll light up the lights above the parcel rack on medium position and high position. It just changes the brightness. Reading lights, one position switch. At night, click this on for the passengers to be able to use the reading lights above the seating. The night light, that's a blue light above the uh, parcel racks and inside the parcel racks, just for uh, allowing customers to walk up and down the aisle at night without blaring bright lights. Luggage lighting is exactly what it says. When you're inside the baggage bay at night, engage this and you'll have lighting inside the bay.